for my last video of 2018, I'm gonna make my double cheeseburger with zippy zowie sauce. What the heck is zippy zowie sauce, you're asking yourself? Well, I'm gonna show you that. But first, we gotta get this garlic here out on the Weber kettle to roast it a bit in foil. So I have, I don't know, maybe a dozen garlic cloves here that have been peeled, the paper's off of them. I'm gonna drizzle just about maybe a teaspoon of olive oil on them, not much. And we're gonna wrap them up in foil. Just like that, doesn't have to be very tight. All right, let's get this out on the kettle. I've got the kettle going so it's coming up to temp and we're just gonna get that garlic on here. And it's gonna turn it right around over the coals. Gonna get our lid on as we go back inside and start getting the rest of the ingredients for this zippy zowie sauce and the burgers ready. So the next ingredient for our zippy zowie sauce is onion. We're using about a half of a white onion. You can use a yellow onion. Heck, you could use a red onion if you want. It just needs to be an onion. So I'm gonna use my tremendous knife skills here to show you how I cut this and chop it. I was being facetious there in case you didn't know that. That's what we're looking for. It's time to grill these up. All right, our garlic's been roasting for about 30 minutes, which is plenty. So let's get our lid off and start cooking up these onions. Take our garlic off. Get my little cast iron skillet on here. Start heating that up for the onions. And if I didn't mention it, I hope you can see I have the vortex going underneath with maybe about half full of charcoal. Might need to add a little bit more before we do the burgers, but we're doing good right now. This is my eight inch cast iron skillet that I'm using here. If you're interested in any of the things I use in these videos, you can always check the links in the video description. I usually list them there. I purchased this one from Amazon. I think I only paid about $10 for it. It might've been an add-on item. It's a great little skillet. Okay, skillet's getting hot. I'm gonna go ahead and add my onions. I'm gonna go ahead and add our roasted garlic into here. And if you want, you can go ahead and start smashing the garlic because we're going to do that inside. Okay, now I'm going to move this pan off the direct heat while I add something else here. Cast iron retains a lot of heat. I'm going to go ahead and add about a tablespoon of barbecue sauce here. Just pick your favorite barbecue sauce. Just going to stir that up in here. We're not even over the coals right now. So I love cast iron. It just retains so much heat. Just pressing down on these garlic cloves, smashing them a little bit. All right, we're gonna get this off the heat, get it inside and let it start cooling down so we can make our sauce. All right, it's time to get our burgers ready. Now, I saw a technique that Greg over at Ballistic Barbecue used. I think he was doing his Octo Burger. I'll put the link up here so you can check that out. And I just thought it was brilliant in how you would get the patties to be a certain thickness that you want. And it starts with using these paint stir sticks. You can see I've got like three of them stacked on each size because that's about the thickness I want for these burger patties. We're gonna be doing two burger patties today. They're gonna be kind of sizable. So first thing I wanna do now is put a piece of parchment paper down and then put my sticks on top of these. right here, put my sticks on top of this. I want them to be just far enough apart so my rolling pin can go over them. Now, if you want to put parchment paper over these, you can, they kind of move around if you do that. And I'm just gonna throw these sticks away after I'm done, they're 98 cents for a pack of 10, so I'm not worried about saving them. I'm gonna put some 80-20 ground beef here. And first, I'm just gonna sort of press it down with my hands. Now I'm gonna put a piece of parchment paper over it and I'm just gonna start working it back and forth here until we get to be the thickness of the stir sticks. I'm gonna check and see for size because I'm using the big burger mold today. And let's see, I think we can just get one, just about one out of this. So I think we're good. So I'm gonna press down Go around with a knife if you need to. Take all your little excess meat, 
put it back in a bowl with the rest of your burger because you're going to need this for the second burger. Take the mold off there. And if you need to trim up, you can, but that looks pretty good to me. The thing I really like about this is it's an even thickness all the way around. So let me go ahead and do the second one. All right, I have my sticks back in place. We're going to put some more ground beef down in here. Work this down. Get our parchment paper over it and I'm gonna start flattening it out again using our stir sticks as a guide. Greg, I don't know how you came up with this, but it's brilliant. You can manage the thickness of this. One stick, two sticks, three sticks, whatever you want. Got our ring right there. Press it down. Get our ring off. There we go. I'm going to take these patties and put them in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes so they firm up and then it's going to be time to get them out to the Weber kettle. All right, we're going to go ahead and get our big old burger patties on here. I might do one at a time. These are pretty big. We'll see. Hit them with a little bit of salt, a bit of pepper. I like pepper. So I'm going to adjust these even a little more here. There we go. Adjustment made. Could have done these on the cast iron griddle, but I don't know. Something made me just want to do them directly over the briquettes. I'm not a big believer in these spin grate things. I'm trying this one out, but I guess one advantage is if you start to get too big of a flare up, you could just spin the burgers out of the way. All right, we're going to go ahead and flip our burgers now. They're kind of big. Hopefully they stay together. Let's see. Hey, we got one there. Get the other one. There we go. Slide that in a little bit. Good looking big burgers. That's okay, we got a pretty big bun. There's probably gonna be a little overhang though. All right, I'm gonna get my cheese on here. We're gonna use some pepper jack on each burger patty. And I'm gonna toast my bun, but I'm gonna just put it on this side and rotate it around for a second. And then we'll bring the burger back to finish melting that cheese. Just gonna do a quick toast. <laughs> All right, I think that's good for our bun. That's looking good. Let's get this off and get our burgers back over to finish melting that cheese. I'm gonna spin these indirect and put the lid on for just a minute to melt the rest of that cheese. Probably only take two or three minutes. All right, let's see how our cheese is doing. I am liking that. All right, it's time to get our burger patties off and build this double cheeseburger with Zippy Zowie sauce. All right, so let's finish making our Zippy Zowie sauce really quick so we can get it on this burger. We're gonna add about half of that onion garlic mixture. I saved the other half for some other things. We're gonna add a tablespoon of mayonnaise, two tablespoons of barbecue sauce, a teaspoon of ground black pepper, if you don't want this much zowie, you can cut this back. And a teaspoon of mustard. I'm using a sort of a brown mustard. I'm just gonna mix this all together here. Make sure you get that pepper mixed in really well. This is what we're looking for. Let's have a little taste. That is zippy and it is zowie. <laughs> all right, let's make this burger. All right, we have our toasted bottom bun here with some nice romaine lettuce on it. Let's start with a patty. We're gonna put some of our Zippy Zowie sauce right here. Now you can put as much of this as you want on here or as little. Another patty right there. Some more Zippy Zowie sauce on top. I know it's more like a spread than a sauce, but it's Zippy Zowie sauce. I'm gonna add a few pickles here on top. Sliced tomato. There is our double cheeseburger with Zippy Zowie sauce. Let's cut into it and have a taste. All right, let's top this, cut it in half, and attempt to take a bite. And just remember, Greg over at Ballistic Barbecue did an Octo Burger. 
eight patties. They weren't as thick as these, but it was a beast. <laughs> I'm gonna hold it so it does not burger lanch out of here. Ooh, that looks pretty good. It's time to taste. All right, th this beast is just gonna fall apart here as I bite it, but I wanted to show you this. It's, it's a little monster, but man, does it smell and look good. And I'm definitely going in here. I'm gonna try and get as big a bite as I can. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, mom, that is messy goodness. Oh man, the burgers cooked just right, just slightly below medium, which is what I want. I like it a little more towards medium rare, but it's kind of hard when you've got a patty that's thinner like this over such a hot fire. Going in for some more. Mm. That zippy zowie sauce has zip and has zow. The garlic is just like punching you perfectly. That roasted garlic, not overpowering, works well with the onions. And then sort of the coolness of both the barbecue sauce and the mayonnaise in there just brings it all together. Pepper doesn't hurt for a little bit of a kick too. Now I went a little over the top on this, but really you can take that Zippy Zowie sauce and just put it on any burger you like. But I figure if you're making a batch of Zippy Zowie sauce, why not make a couple burgers? Why not cover them with cheese? And why not make a little beast like this? Mmm.